Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And yeah, welcome back, everybody. We certainly have been putting together a stretch of really nice weather here for Friday Night Football tonight. Not an exception. It is uh, pretty pleasant out here, pretty comfortable temperatures. Winds were a little strong earlier in the day, but they have calmed down. We're here at the uh, field of Dickinson State, where the Dickinson Midgets will be hosting the Williston Coyotes. Both teams are looking for their first win here in uh, Class 3A football action. Should be a good one tonight. And let's go ahead and take a look at that forecast. Now, now, again, pretty comfortable out here now, but temperatures will start to uh, dwindle a bit. We'll actually be into the upper 40s uh, near the fourth quarter time frame. So if you are heading out towards uh, uh, the or towards Dickinson here tonight, uh, put on a jacket because it will get a little chilly. But the wind won't be a big factor. And take a little closer look here. Low 60s right now, but we'll be down into the upper 40s with clear skies by about 10 o'clock. Mountain daylight time. Here's a look at Bismarck going back of to uh, Central. Daily time 70 degrees, still very mild in the capital city. It's some pretty fall colors out there. Northwest wind at 14 miles per hour. Let's look at those temperatures across the board here. A little cooler back towards the uh, northwest. Only 57 in Crosby and 59 in Stanley right now. Uh, 69 in Hedinger. It's right now 66 here in Dickinson. 64 to our west there in Beach. Out towards the Turtle Mountains and Rugby, both checking in at 59 degrees. And we are 63 degrees currently in Watford City. 73 was the official high today in Bismarck. Mark, just 12 degrees above the average, average high 61, so yet another warm day here in early October. Start off the day at 40 degrees, average low is 35, satellite radar not much going on. Again, lots of sunshine, just a few mid to upper level clouds kind of streaming on in from the southwest. Now, by tomorrow, or excuse me, by later this evening, we'll continue to see a light northerly wind. Cold front has pushed on through. High pressure will control our weather pattern for another day tomorrow. Now, the uh, center of the high pressure will be off towards our northeast. We're going to start to see a return flow of southeasterly winds by tomorrow afternoon. It's going to present a pretty breezy day out there. But, again, it'll be sunny, and temperatures will be warm. Temperatures warming up even more so than where we were today. A pretty nice day out there, all in all. Sands the wind. And by overnight tomorrow night into Sunday morning, strong southerly winds develop out ahead of a cold front. It's going to be a windy night into Sunday morning, and that cold front will race across the state Sunday. And then by Sunday afternoon, cold front off towards our east. We could see a few post-frontal showers, particularly across central North Dakota. It will be a cloudy, windy day behind that cold front. And temperatures will actually be dropping through much of the day on Sunday as that colder air moves on in behind that cold front. Now, lows tonight, a little cooler off towards the northeast. Temperatures getting down into the 30s. Elsewhere, we'll see temperatures into the 40s. And your highs tomorrow, temperatures into the 60s to the east. But elsewhere, everyone's seeing temperatures in the 70s. Could we even see a few low 80s back off towards the west, including Williston, with a high temperature of 80 degrees. Now, well, Dickinson said temperatures falling quickly by the latter half of the weekend. It will be quite windy out there by the latter half of the weekend as well as that cold front moves on through. Temperatures in the upper 70s tomorrow, but a big difference as we head through Sunday and Monday with temperatures in the upper 50s. Williston, 80 degrees for you tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. We'll keep it windy out there, and temperatures will be decidedly cooler by the latter half of the weekend as we take a look at the seven-day forecast here by Minot. Temperatures in the low 70s with sunshine. It does remain windy, however, and Bismarck, look at that. It remains windy as we transition from a warm pattern to a much cooler pattern with high temperatures really falling quickly, not only through the weekend, but through much of next week as well, guys. Reporting to you from Dickinson right now. Looks great out there, Dave. Thank yeah. you very much. Always having all the fun. Coming up next.